So here's the general big picture view thematic of Ra's grid or imprint, the life unfolding that path in his trajectory through space. We're gonna explore this as an example and we can start with the prenatal imprint. 88 degrees before Ra was born, here was the positionary aspect of all of his genetic unconscious blueprint activations. And then here is the conscious personality natal imprint added onto that form imprint. So the personality imprint, the design imprint, merging to give us a holistic view of a being's type, strategy, and authority, in addition to all of the nuances and subtleties that may in fact become a strength, something reliable and dependable, something that is fixed. Remember that the definition, these channels that are strengths in the design are the only things that are reliable and trustworthy. And that's why we use that imprint to create the decision-making process, the guidance that we give in the foundation analysis. But every single year, you're going to have a solar return up until you die. And these forms are terminal. The solar return is the most complex and personal cycle reading that you can give every year. It's the most important, according to Ra. It shows us the day-to-day -day challenges and growth opportunities that you are going to encounter throughout that year. It's going to show you what can distort your life and challenge your strategy, you following, you being your own authority. So here is where we're going to encounter what we're going to be meeting and learning and experiencing. Year after year, we have a new solar imprint or a return, you could say, that renews that cellular imprint of purpose, the sun earth because it happens exactly at the moment of birth so it's going to give us that renewal of our life's work and then anything that is different is going to be a layer of conditioning that can potentially pull us away from our actual correct way of experiencing life that's why it's so important to give them the solar return so from this moment on you know three months before your birthday, that it's time to start looking at the solar return to have your umbrella, your protection against the elements is always strategy and authority, but to be aware of what's happening as an analyst, it's one of the most helpful things that you can do not only for yourself, but also for your clients. In human design, in the cycles analysis training, the main cycles that we focus on to teach you so that you can further educate your clients if it's correct for you to do so, the Saturn return, Uranus opposition, and the Chiron return. These are very large themes over a long period of time. So they are not you necessarily, it's you in relational context to people experiences, the soup, the cosmic soup of what's going on during that time in your life. And it, we're going to read this differently depending on how it's interfacing with your design. That's one of the things that you're going to learn how to do. All of these are about movement towards purpose, your purpose. Saturn prepares us for living the nine centered life. Saturn returns are extremely important. This Saturn cycle theme is how you mature. I like to call it growing pains because sometimes it can be painful. Saturn, the disciplinary, you know, pain and punishment oftentimes. And yet it helps you to begin to integrate into the new Uranian life, the nine centered life that you are here to live. For Ra, that happened in 1976. In teaching of the program, he saw that it was often more useful after the Saturn cycle was passed. So when we strip this down, a Saturn return often creates a crisis that puts you face to face with death, your fears, or both. 
many of these fears have deep roots in your psyche, but they're also about living up to societal expectations. It's like a mini earthquake to the foundations that shake you to your core. And this enables you to shake off what's not really you, growing pains. Let go of those things. I like to think of Saturn as a, a shepherd's crook. You know, it even looks kind of like that, Saturn, the chair, Saturn, a crook, keeping you back from that, those things that actually you could maybe let go of, let go of childish things. This is the end of childhood. Saturn's other alias is the Lord of Karma, your reincarnative work to do. And so here's the test of whether or not you can become your own authority. Another reason why it's so important, 29 or 30, can you, as far as the age that this happens, seven years around that time, three and a half years before, three and a half years after, can you discover during the cycle an unshakable core self within you that will be the basis for a lifetime of growth? You can see with him, it's the left angle cross of wishes. Now further, the next place that we move to beyond the Saturn cycle, for Ra, his Uranus opposition was in 1986. And this represents a change from energy, prana, flowing into the life to now shifting gears and prana energy flowing out in the life. So this time frame, seven and a half years again, around between 38 and 44 years of age, because Uranus is a planet moves very unusually, weirdly wacky, eccentrically. This is a period where you master the presentation that you are going to make when you reach your Chiron return. Your Chiron return, that flowering of the nine centered human being, the Uranus opposition, that time frame when you move in this path and this way of seeing from the past, the past way of where you be and how you see into a new way of either being around things or seeing things in a way that is different and unique to you. The flowering of one's developmental awareness as far as your maturing cycle. I like to call this one a real maturing cycle. You know, it's not no longer the growing pains, but it's if it's if you're not living in alignment, what can happen is we can call it a midlife crisis. You know, this time between 38 and 44 midlife crisis, because the crisis is you're shifting gears instead of breathing in life experience. Now you're exhaling, you're beginning to exhale your life experience. And so there is a different kind of maturity level that you just get to when you come to this stage of your life, a new stage, a new life cycle, Uranus opposition. 40s life cycle for you to explore and play with. Now, finally, we have the Chiron return. Chiron, that planetary asteroid that comes around at either 49 or 50 years of age to where it was when you were born. And Ra calls this the flowering stage, flowering, potential flowering of your life's work. So here's the place and time for him. It was 1998 where we have the opportunity to live out life's fullest purpose, the patterns, the experiences, the people, the life's processes. It's like a new costume that you're donning, a new way of being that's overlaid on top of what is already there for you as your genetic imprint. Chiron is now good conditioning that is absolutely necessary in order for you to fulfill your life's work. That is what the Chiron return brings.